Alrighty, today we're going to do some testing in the 6.5 Creedmoor. It's been about a month since I've shot this rifle, so I thought it's time to bring it out and try some loading for it. So today we're going to use the 130 ELD Match and Reloader 17, the Starline Small Rifle Primer Brass, and we're going to change it up and use the CCI number 41 primers. We're going to use Hornady's low data. We're going to use the 2.80 overall length that they list in their manual, and we're going to start at 42.2 grains and work our way up to 43.4 grains. So I haven't had any really impressive results with this rifle yet, so we're still trying to find that combination that the rifle likes. Hopefully this is one of those combinations. Let's get out on the range and let's see how they shoot. All right, we're out here on the range. I've got my 22 inch 6.5 Creedmoor. We're going to shoot the 130 Hornady ELD match with Reloader 17. Target is at 100 yards. The orange circles are one inch and the gun is nice and cold. It is approximately 75 degrees out. So let's see how these bullets shoot. All right, so that first group looks pretty terrible. Moving on up, 42.6 grains. All right, that looks like a better group there. Right, moving on up again. 43 grains. Alrighty, last group here at 43.4 grains. All right, let's get down there and let's check out the groups. All righty, taking a look at the groups here. They can get off to a good start, 42.2 grains, 2,842 feet per second, 12.3 standard deviation, and a really bad 2.7 inch group. Not sure what happened to that second shot dropping super low like that. Felt like a nice clean shot, so not sure on that one. Moving on to 42.6 grains, 2,887 feet per second, a 10.5 standard deviation and a 0 0.685 inch group. Uh, nothing to complain here. Good velocity, good standard deviation, and I think this is the best group that this rifle has shot. Moving on to 43.0 grains, 29.19 feet per second, 10.8 standard deviation, and a 1.695 inch group. Moving on to the last group of the day, 43.4 grains, 29.64 feet per second, and a 10.1 standard deviation and a pretty good 0.891 inch group. Overall, you know, pretty good standard deviations across the board, probably the most consistent standard deviations I've seen. Good velocity and two out of the four groups under an inch. So nothing to complain about there. Take a look at the brass there you see on the screen. Um, the top load, you can see just a very, very faint, very light kind of ejector smear. So we're definitely towards the top end. We're towards the top end of Hornady's low data, so I would expect this. But nothing to complain about here. Pretty happy with the results. We might try the 130 ELD match again next time. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.